So, excuse me, Russell. Sorry I didn't post for a week there, um, or two weeks, or I don't know how long it's been. I just got really busy, it's like basketball, and then it's um, got really chilly, like in the 30s, and, but before that it was like 60s and stuff, so um, I went golfing for a little bit. But we had three hard frost already. It's been the coldest um, October um, our county has had in a while. I know um, one person I watched, Garden Answer, their first frost hasn't, just their light frost hasn't, hasn't even came yet. But... We need, I just gave all these plants a nice soaking. We had like rain a week ago, but we haven't had any sense. Just to give them a nice soaking so that way, um, once I cut them back today, except for the hydrangeas, um, they, um, are okay. Um, like the serendipity arms you can see um, are yellow. I am going to save seeds from this foxglove. I don't know if they're even ready yet, but you can see here this was the main stock, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. And I love foxglove. Foxglove is one of my favorite plants. Dreams without deadhead them. Echinacea. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the petals. I love these seed heads. I'm just gonna pull off the petals so you can see how many more buds are getting ready. Um, my tripod is broke, so I'm just like filming off my phone. Try to get the best angles and then the daisies I'm just gonna cut back. Let me show you this Ostromeria. In slideshow one, I think it was, this Ostromeria looks so good. Especially it came back when it looked really bad, but now it got nailed by the frost. I'm gonna cut this back today. Um so you kinda get the point. I'll show you how to cut back some things. But it's really simple and I'm gonna take the trellises inside. I'll get the seeds out of whatever it's called fox love. We're gonna move out front, do the sides. So let me show you how to cut back a serendipity alley. Okay, so hopefully you can see this like using the beach towel as a nailing pad. Um I am gonna ask for one for my birthday, it's coming up, but I'm gonna this. I'm gonna do it like on a hair tie. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut. So there's still some leaves. This is the first time I'm doing this too. We really didn't have a garden that um our old house. We just had um, limelight hydrangeas in the flower beds, and the cats got much up in this too. It's kind of really hard, and it smells like honey. The only thing about serendipity alleyers, they smell like onions. But then I'm just gonna cut back any like taller leaves. There you go. 
so now um daisy's in ulster area this is the first time i'm growing in ulster area just two i never grew ulster area before um it was i thought about putting it in pot so i can bring it in side but we decided to plant it out again and give it a try so let me move my table i'm propping the camera up on since i don't have my tripod over to the ulster Mary. sorry guys my camera did not record for the ulster Mary or the daisy we luckily we have one more daisy it's not really like um the best example since there's not a lot of top growth let me explain to you what i did so what i did is pretend this i took my falco twos i cut it and then i um put mulch around the it so that way because it's a zone six we're technically a zone six but sometimes it gets a little too cold so hopefully this one survives if it does i cannot wait to see it next year um the daisy space i that daisy doesn't have a great example it's like really short um but look at this look at this Oh my word. But, um, I just came in. These are all buds, so I left them. But dead branches here, I just come in and chop them. And then there's just a bunch of new growth. So, um, after we do this bed, I want to take a little break before we do the front. Because I need to clean my room because I am getting some house plants um, from my grandma's house. They have like their lemon coil sedum, geraniums, um, coleus, and stuff, things like that. They have two inside cats and they eat like plants and stuff. So I told them I would um, have those and then for my room so i'll show you that too but let me just finish this bed and then we will take a, i'll take a break um then we'll go back out front so here we go <laughs> For some reason, well, I didn't do the out front, so we're going to do part two. Um, for some reason, I am at my grandma's house, but I thought it was a great idea to sweep all the concrete. Well, there's mulch all over it, and uh, we have rubber mulch. does not want to come off. So I got to work out from that, trying to get it off, not knowing, well, not thinking that we had a blow leaf blower um, hello. Hello. a leaf blower um in, in the but thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye